Hey guys, welcome back to Learn with Maktum. So, yesterday we have started with the computer basics and we have discussed what is computer, what are the components of computer, how the data is processed, and also the different parts of computer. Yes, so today's agenda of this session is to discuss the functional components of computer. This is also called as block diagram of computer. It is also referred as Newman architecture of computer. This topic is very much important considering the examination of BCA students. They may ask you to explain the Newman architecture of computer or explain the block diagram of computer or explain the functional components of a computer. All means the same. Okay, so I hope you are excited to know about this topic. So without wasting time, let's right jump into it. Let's see the block diagram. So while showing the block diagram only, I will explain the things. And after that, we will see point wise. Okay. So let's see what happens first. So data, we are going to provide data to the computer using what? Using input devices. So input devices help you to give data or to enter the data into the computer. Yes. Okay. From the input devices, that data or the instruction will enter the CPU. So CPU contains some sections, some units like storage unit. Okay. Whenever the data enter the CPU, it is temporarily stored in primary storage. The primary storage is nothing but your RAM, random access memory. If you don't know about RAM, don't worry. In the future video, we will be discussing about storage devices. That time I will explain you about primary storage and secondary storage in detail. For the time being, you should remember that data for temporarily data is stored in primary storage. And if you want to store the data or the instruction for a longer period, you can store them in the secondary storage. Second storage examples are like hard disk or optical disk. So those are some examples of secondary storage. Okay. Then there are two more units called as control unit and arithmetic and logical unit. So this control unit is like the main unit here. It will control everything. Then as the name indicates, it controls everything like the coordination between the secondary storage device and the primary storage device. And uh, it will also coordinate the input devices and output devices. So everything is maintained by the control unit here. And the next unit here is arithmetic and logical unit. This unit as the name itself says arithmetic and logical. So it is used for performing the arithmetic operations and logical operations. Arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. And logical operations like uh, logical and logical or. Okay. So about the logical operations, if you don't know, don't worry. You will discuss them also. Okay. So I hope. I am clear with the CPU. CPU contains storage unit, control unit and arithmetic and logical unit. Okay. So what happens in the CPU? The data will be processed. Yes. So after processing, the results has to be displayed. So results can be displayed, displayed using the output devices. Okay. The results can be displayed using output devices like monitor. Yes. If you want to display the output, you can display using output devices. Else you can store the result temporarily in the primary storage or else for the longer period in the secondary storage. I hope I'm clear with the explanation of the topic. Okay then, so let us see one by one. Starting with input unit. Input device is a hardware component that allows us to enter data and instructions into a computer. Yes, the input devices will allow us to enter the data. Then some of the widely used input devices are keyboard, mouse, scanner, etc. So once the input is given, it will enter the CPU. 
CPU it is the part of computer which reads and executes the program instructions. Yes, the main purpose of CPU is what it will read the data and it will execute it. So that's why it is called as brain of computer. Okay. It consists of ALU, it's a short form for arithmetic and logical units, uh, control unit, and memory unit. Okay. So let us see one by one beginning with ALU. ALU is the unit where all arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. and logical operations such as AND or NOT are performed. If you want to know about the logical operations, I have made a video using C programming where I am discussing the operations. So you can go and watch that video. I have given a recommendation on the right side. You can go and watch it out. Moving on to the next one here, that is control unit. It acts as a central nervous system and ensures that the information is stored correctly. Yes, it will also look for the information, whether the information is stored or not. Everything will be maintained by the control unit. It also coordinates all the input and output devices of a system. Also controls the hardware operations. So as I said, it is, it is like controlling everything. That's why the name control unit. Okay. The last unit is storage unit. Results obtained after processing will be in the primary memory. The random access memory, shortly RAM, is the main memory of the computer. So RAM is used to store the data temporarily. Okay. We can store the data and programs on a long term basis in the secondary memory. The hard disk and optical disks are common secondary devices. Okay. And the last unit is output devices. So an output device is any hardware component that conveys the information to one or more people in user understandable form. So as we all know that whatever the data is given to the computer, it will be converted into binaries. Yes. So while after processing also the result is still in binary form. So, so that after processing the result will be converted into user understandable form. And that can be displayed using the devices like printer, monitor and speakers. Okay. I hope I'm clear with this. So the functional components of the computers are input devices, CPU, CPU will be having some units which are those control unit, ALU and storage unit. And lastly the output will be displayed using output devices. I hope I'm clear with this session. So you can follow me on the social media like Facebook, Instagram and you can also mail me. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, share it and if you are new to my channel, subscribe the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so I'm going to see you in the next video with the next topic. Till then, bye bye.